Hello, recently I started making my own calorie drink mix. This is high calorie, it's not for uh, just the electrolytes. So it's actually 200, 300 calories, sometimes more depending on what I want it for. And the reason I started making my own is one, to save a little bit of money, and two, just because I can control it a lot better. Sometimes I want more calories, sometimes I want less, sometimes I want more flavor, less flavor, more salt, different flavor. You know, it, it, it always varies. So if I make it myself, I can control it. So I'm going to show you what I do. And keep in mind, I've been doing this for a long time. So at this point, I don't really follow a recipe. I kind of just wing it. But if you want an actual recipe, there are so many, just Google it, go online. You can find exact amounts. Otherwise, you can kind of do what I do and, and just sort of wing it. So I'm going to introduce you to all of the ingredients. And if you look at Scratch Super Fuel or SIS Beta Fuel, you'll see most of the same ingredients. Okay, so this is cyclic dextrin, sometimes called cluster dextrin, and this is actually maltodextrin, just pure maltodextrin. They're somewhat similar. A lot of high carb drink mixes have the maltodextrin in it uh, because that's cheaper. It's it's immensely cheaper than the cyclic dextrin. Some of the more expensive drink mixes will have the cyclic dextrin and that they say is just slightly slower digesting. So you'll have maybe a little bit less of a, an energy spike and then an energy dip. Okay, then there's sodium citrate, that's a salt. Then you have citric acid, fructose, regular table salt. This is for flavor, true lime, true lemon. This is a uh, drink mix, like electrolytes, it, basically another salt. I'm a big fan of this flavor, mango chili right now. And I am going to show you about, I'm gonna mix up a, about a 300 calorie bottle because that's about what I would want for one ride. Okay, so I'm going to mix up one bottle's worth about 300 calories. I'm gonna start with the cyclic dextrin. Now I'll use two scoops of this and one scoop of this. This one scoop is about 114 calories. So I'm actually gonna use two kind of scant scoops because I don't want a full 114. Okay, so one, two, and then one of these. The reason I'm mixing is really just purely to save money. The maltodextrin is way cheaper, so I like to add that, but the cyclic dextrin is just maybe a little bit better for performance. Okay, next, the fructose. This is a different type of carbohydrate source, and it's metabolized slightly different pathways in the body, so that's kind of why you want to mix different carb sources. And but this is very, very sweet. These two are not that sweet. They don't have much flavor. And I personally don't like really sweet drink mixes. And that's actually one reason I make my own because I want to cut the sweetness. So I'm really going to not use much fructose. Um, this is one tablespoon. I'm probably not even going to add that whole thing because I just don't want it sweet. Okay. Next, I want to add a little salt, and I have several options for this. So I could use my very salty drink mix, and this is plenty of salt. This is a thousand milligrams. It's quite high in the salt. So if I add this, I don't need any more salt. But if I don't want this, I can add a little bit of table salt. How much is really up to you. Uh, some people like really salty. Some people don't. Some people need more salt. They sweat out a lot of salt, some people don't. Okay, I'm a very salty sweater, so I do need salt. Sodium citrate is a different form of salt, and I like to mix the two. This tastes salty, this doesn't really taste as salty, so you can actually use a bit more of this than you would regular table salt. And I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon. That's a pretty high amount. Um, I might recommend you start with a quarter teaspoon. And then the citric acid. This is a good way to cut the sweetness. So if you wanted to add more fructose, but you didn't want it to taste as sweet, this can kind of dull that down. But be careful. It kind of has a almost chemically taste if you add too much of it. 
So really start with a very small amount. Um, I would say an eighth of a teaspoon or maybe even less. And you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Okay, so that's just to cut the sweetness a bit. And then I like these as flavor. I've tried a lot of other flavors. Um, I got like uh, crystallized or powdered raspberry, mango stuff. And, and honestly, I just go back to this because again, it sort of cuts that sweetness and I want that tart flavor when it's really hot outside, especially in the summer. So I don't measure these, I just kind of put in both, a little bit there and a little bit here, there, I got more of that. And then you just mix it up and you're good to go.